So this is it. This is the William Tell Overture. Most of this was made with my favorite hull brush, as you can see, making these primitive shapes. Other tools include our lovely wavy swooshy thing. I'm not even sure if, what the name of it is. Let's see if they actually provide the name of it. It is known as Disco, and it's whatever cool uh, color you want. The trick with Disco is the direction it paints. You can see, there's a direction that the ripples flow, so if I want the color band to give direction of flow of the water, I need to know which way to drag, because you can see the ripples themselves have a direction that they flow. So that helps get the fake stream quickly and easily. I also use the coarse bristles brush. That's the one that looks like this, mostly for grass. A lot of people will use that brush for larger paintings, simply because you can actually build up a large area of color, sort of the way a natural paintbrush does. So if we zoom in on that, you can see it makes almost solid shapes that you can sort of fill in. So that's a popular brush. Uh, and I, in this case, was mostly using it for the grass. Cloud brush. Interesting thing with the cloud brush is even if you give it colors, it can never be really dark. So even if I give it a very, very dark green, it does give you some dark clouds, but it's almost impossible to see. So you can't do clouds that occlude things very well. So if I try to take something in black and then paint over one of the rocks here in black clouds, see it's not even black. I'm at darkest, blackest I can get here, even with no color and it's just sort of gray and white. So you can't use cloud to dark, obscure. So in this case, it's to imply more of haze and fog, that type of thing. Okay. So flaw fog, we've got the disco and the coarse bristle. Fire and uh, sparks are two separate effects. I'm gonna switch to an obvious color here, so fire can do a long streamer of fire, and it keeps that motion going. So again, it can be used for water effects, but only for the highlight, because it's a bright glowing effect. The sparks, also known as embers, cook up like that. The larger you make the spark, we can actually zoom the scale to different sizes. And you can see what sort of interesting effects it makes at different sizes with different uh, colors, that type of thing. So we'll be playing with some of these in other uh, paintings as well. Let's get back centered over here. Okay, so the icing tool is how we make simple lines that have a little bit of texture to them. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on this guy so you can sort of see the rough texture we got in here. So it's not a smooth plastic like the matte hull. It's also only for doing lines and cylinders. Combined with a straight edge, we can do, that's how I was doing the logs and the fire, that type of thing. Because it gives me a straight edge that still has the texture, that still has the surface to it. Makes good logs, provided you use a dark enough brown. Size control. These controllers have hand grippies. Both grippies let you make the world bigger and smaller. It also lets you move and rotate the world so I can get different views on what people see. We can try to find the best view for each different uh, picture and landscape that we do. I lost my stars. Speaking of stars, that's one of the last tools that we had on this episode stars. Again, you can give them any color. I wanted them, them as background, so I made my landscapes tiny and up in front so that I could paint, whoops, sell my straight line tool. So I can paint great swoops and patterns in the stars that will hopefully fill in. So when we zoom into the landscape, there we go, you can see stars in the sky behind it. 
during the performance, we filled in a lot more of the sky. But that, that's how we achieve that effect. It's also fun for doing like sparkles. If, they, if we have a waterfall going, we can add little sparkles to it, that type of thing. Uh, or fireflies in the field at night, that type of thing. Just fun effects. So that's it for this week. Oh, look, a little pink thing. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, next week, we're going to try to have some fun, and we're considering doing a piece. This week was Rossini. Next week, we're considering Yankovic. Uh, and we'll see what sort of uh, picture we can get going. Thanks for joining us this week, and we'll see you again. <laughs>